Hey, what's up, Anfinex? Tech Knight from AndroidRoots.com. As you can see, I have the Samsung Galaxy Nexus with me, and today we're gonna be doing a CM CM10 RAM review for your Galaxy Nexus GSM, Verizon, and Sprint. So yes, this is to support all three types of Galaxy Nexus that have been uh, released. So let's just head on into settings and show you it's running on 4.1.2. Yes, it's already running on the latest Jelly Bean version 4.1.2. So let's look at it about phone. And as you can see right there, we got 4.1.2, of course. You got baseband, kernel, and CPU, all everything else that you might want to look at as well. So just freeze this up picture if you want to look at the kernel, baseband, all that go other good stuff. But I don't really think you really care about that because CM10 is an amazing ROM. They're very good, professional people that's highly recommended and one of the most popular ROMs on the market from when, that, when they were originally released. So let's actually just take a look around. As you can see, everything is very smooth, quick, um, just like uh, Jelly Bean 4.1.1. It does have a couple of bug fixes from 4.1.1, uh, just from released by Google, but nothing that will uh, you'll notice. So you do only have four widget toggles. As you can see, you got the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, navigation, and um, your type of uh, phone mode like silence, si uh, vibration, all the other good stuff. Quick and easy to use. So let's head down into settings and see some of the uh, features CM10 offers. So um, even if you're a type of person who doesn't really care about the performance or a battery lifesaver, or if you're a type of person who does care about that, um, you should in no way be um, be driven away by this ROM because it, it is an excellent ROM. I know just about everyone enjoys this type of ROM. Um, it's very customization customizationable or whatever, <laughs> customizationable and um, very solid as well. And they have a great team behind this RAM who develops on it, and they're uh, very uh, committed to this RAM as well. So let's actually just look into system. Let's see what's in there. Status bar, show clock. You can actually get rid of the clock if you want. Not a big deal, but it's it's a nice little feature. Battery status style. Let's do percentage. Now you got a little percentage next to the actual um, battery. Let's go into font size. Let's make it actually huge. So as you can see now, if you're farsighted, I think, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it's farsighted. I never have glasses, so I don't yeah, know. But I think if it's farsighted, you obviously really easier now. So if you're an older person, maybe uh, you got this uh, phone for your parents, or you just have bad eyes in general, you can obviously uh, read everything a lot easier. So let's see if it actually does work. I do believe uh, these did get a little bit larger. I could be wrong, but as you can see, um, settings and um, many other options did get bigger as well so that's another nice feature if you are wondering about that let's go into lock screen and see um see something about that that's uh oh, i do love weather so display weather obviously i have to uh, use my custom location or uh, type in my zip code and all that so it shouldn't be showing up but there oh it actually does show up right away it says no data tap to refresh so you do have a nice uh, weather and i do love that because it ma matches excellent with the lock screen and the clock so i really um if you're a type of weather type of person and if you never even use a weather you can just turn off um refresh rate and uh, still have it because it does look really nice especially with this nice uh, blue background from cygenomod so that is another nice feature um i could keep going on and on about a lot of things so there's just so much owner info. You can have to type your owner information, you know, your phone number, your name, address, all the other good stuff just in case your phone does get lost. But hopefully do not lose it because this is an excellent phone nonetheless. So let's actually look into themes. I do I I'm I know I do not have other ones installed, but you can obviously get more themes from the Google Play Store. So you can just search up some themes for uh Cygenomod. And uh, it should be working flawlessly because um this is the default theme. You can obviously get more from the Play Store. And they sh most I, I do believe uh, most of them are free, so you shouldn't be worrying about um, the price of it. But some may be paid, the more um, advanced ones. But definitely uh, check it out. So let's go into a uh, notification drawer. Let's see what's in there. Um, so power widget, we can get rid of that. So now we have it here. We shouldn't have it. Power widget, uh, let's do widget button. Um, go to sleep. So I have actually have no idea what that means. <laughs> Power widgets. Um, oh, it's probably a widget that you actually add on here. Oh, one other thing I do really want to show you. Before. So I did find it. It was under home screen inside your man settings. As you can see, um, resize any widgets right there. So what that means is if you maybe have a Twitter widget, maybe a Google Plus or any other widget that only allows you to resize it maybe by two by one, and that's a limit. 
of side genomide will actually resize it to your liking so maybe it'll do four by two one by one so you can actually resize it it'll override their settings so you can uh, get it to your perfect size for your home screen so there's another bonus so you can just uh, choose any widget that doesn't really offer um different amounts of uh, sizes and you can uh, customize it to your size so that's another nice new feature Cygenomod 10 has offered and Cygenomod 10 uh, just keeps uh, coming new uh, new features new bug fixes so they don't even stop uh, really support them uh, definitely donate to them I have donated them several times because their rhymes are really good and I really do highly recommend you donate to them as well um, thanks for watching guys please don't forget that subscribe button and give me a big old thumbs up if you don't mind as well um, I will have links in the description below on where to download it and how to download as well. So just click on the link in the description below. You'll get all the download links and sources and uh, written step by step guide as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next video. Enjoy your Galaxy, um, Galaxy Nexus on Cygenomod 10. Excellent RAM. Highly recommend you get it. Yeah.